No luck trucking. I'm Matt. And we're rolling up to our pickup. Hopefully. Uh, hopefully they have a trailer for us. Our agent did not uh, follow up. Truck trailers use left lane. Hold in place. Do not block right lane. Okay. Not going to block right lane. Alright. Let's see if they have our trailer ready. Probably going to be a no. Alright. That was not to check in. That was for other people or something, I don't know. He said around the corner, there's a blue mobile home that I check in at, so... I see a blue mobile home. I see that bright sun. Woo! I do not see it anymore. <laughs> My eyes. Alright. In one quarter mile, arrive at 437 Old Augusta Road South, on the left. did right. there's a trailer over there right. let's go see what we can get into let's get our Preloaded trailer that's going to be there. We'll go with that. Alright, Lowe's not ready. <laughs> it was supposed to be ready yesterday at, at uh, 5 p.m. Kind of had a feeling the way the agent was talking that it wasn't going to be. Um, so we just stayed at that truck stop and we figured it would be ready this morning, but. Uh, we got to drop the trailer over here. We've got to give the agent a call because they said not to... Okay, so people put the pink... They gave me a pink ribbon but didn't tell me what to do. <laughs> so, this is fun stuff. And the tandems are all the way back. So we're not making any sort of tight turns. Uh, yeah, so they said that our load's still being loaded across the street. Uh at NFI is what she said so she gave me directions on how to get over there uh, but I think we need to talk to the agent before we unhook from this tree that's going to be the plan find a spot to drop this trailer that it's not too much work <laughs> like an easy spot please All right. so We'll, uh, we'll find a spot, give the agent a call, and we'll pick up when we figure out what we got to do next. Since I know YouTube loves the drama, let's talk about it. So uh, we've been sitting in the same place for about an hour, waiting for the, the agency to open up at 9 a.m. Because um, that's a thing. Trucking is not a 9 to 5 business, but... Uh, the account manager knows the situation. They're calling Georgia Pacific to get an ETA, and then we're going to figure out if we still want to stay on this load. Um, it's going to be a lot longer than, I don't know, but if they can get it today, that'd be cool. But if not, I think we got the okie doke, you know, we got that, that set up, but I guess time will tell. Um, so. I'll update when they call us back and we can figure out what's going on. Just got a call from the account manager for this Georgia Pacific load and they have a trailer number assigned to our load, obviously since it's getting loaded. Um, but for whatever reason they are like super gun shy on telling us to drop this trailer. So 
it said it specifically in the email, don't drop the trailer unless we give you a trailer number. So the account manager just called and gave us a trailer number. So I was like, okay, so does, is that safe for me to drop this trailer and go over there and check? And she was like, is there any way that you can check without dropping your trailer? It's like, what happened here, guys? It's like, do they just like snatch your trailer and it's gone forever? And if, if they don't have your trailer ready, you're just out. So uh, she's gonna email them and get some sort of confirmation on what's going on, how long it's gonna be or if it's ready or whatever, but they don't want us to drop the trailer yet. So it's uh I appreciate it, but at the same time we gotta get rolling. You know, we got we gotta get some miles in, gotta get this going, but as long as we get out of here today, we should have time to Put some miles in and then we have all day tomorrow and then it's got to get in early than the uh, following day well, as always i'll update later i still can't be sure so we just got a call back from the account manager again she got a, an email confirmation saying that it is confirmed loaded so i was like okay cool so are we safe to drop the trailer now and she's like mm, yeah you you should be like what does that mean what is gonna happen somebody is going to attack us when we drop this trailer somebody preys on bobtails and we're gonna get attacked but i don't know we're gonna drop this trailer and head over i don't even know it, i guess it's supposed to be brought over here but i don't even know i have no idea i don't know what's going on all right, boys and girls, we got paperwork. After three, two hours? Three hours total being here. Two, two hours since we made the call to the agents. Probably like an hour waiting in that line. So this first row over here, somewhere should be our trailer. What was this? 670-704. So not that one. I guess that one's empty. And these trailers are pretty tight in here. I don't see any other Lancer trailers down here. Ooh, never mind. Here's one. Here's ours. All right, I take it back. We're gonna hook up to this and see how much of a jalopy it is, and get out of here so we can get some miles in today. So we'll pick up a little bit later. Well, we made it to the rest area. Uh, I don't remember the exact city. We are in Connecticut. What's that? Danbury. Danbury. Uh, this one doubles as a uh, way station. We've been pulled in here before. Uh, I got shut down before the traffic got too bad. And now we have on I-84. About two hours and 15 minutes of driving left. Yeah, I remember this one. You gotta like swing all the way around and then it takes you all this one back way. Um, yeah, we got about two hours of driving to get there. And then last night, oddly enough, uh, one of our friends on Discord hit us up and asked if we were gonna be in the New Jersey area. Uh, Friday I'm like well not too far away from there you know that was kind of in our search radius and uh, he hit us up with a like a almost a four dollar a mile load going to uh, Dallas Texas to take us over the weekend which is the best thing going so far because uh, there was a lot of trash on the on the board yesterday so it's nice to have something nailed down that actually pays well. So we'll get down the road, we'll probably pick up at the uh, receiver and maybe we can talk about some details on that, that other load. Well, I think we're pulling up to the delivery. We've got to find it. It's supposed to be on the right. Is it this gigantic warehouse?
red line. Arriving at 81 Campanelli Drive on the right. trouble we can get into. Ooh. Raised gate. Probably means there's nobody in the uh, car check. This is a lot bigger place than I was expecting. Let's see what this sign says. Please proceed to main building entrance for self temperature scan and mask retrieval. Okay. Still doing this, guys? verify the docks uh, that it's fully clear to pull away from the dock. Okay. Oh, because they don't have a light system. Sweet. I guess we'll park over here out of the way and I'm assuming we go back to that door to check in. I'm not 100% sure to be honest, but we'll go meandering around until we figure it out. Well, we gambled and we're on the wrong side. So we gotta go around to the other side of the building. He said around door 94 or 95, something like that is a receiving office. So let's go find that.
folks, way, uh, way less busy over on the receiving side. The shipping side was starting to, uh, starting to liven up. I guess everyone getting, getting ready for their day. Alright. Oh yeah, 95. And there's an office that looks just like that one over there. So, this time, since there's nobody around, I think I'm just going to park right here. And we'll go find somebody. Request the brake line off and chalk the wheels. Let's make sure we're lined up. Looks like it. All right. Yeah, and given the choice, you don't want to put the chalk too close because the uh, trailer starts moving and then it gets wedged in there. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like we're good. Dock plate can go in. Double check on this side. Seems pretty narrow. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Mm. And this trailer is actually really good. Uh, for once, we we got a decent trailer, so I think we're gonna skip uh, some dropping hooks for a while. Make sure uh, make sure it pays really well if we're gonna lose this trailer. Well, we've been here about uh, two hours. About a hour and 15 uh, past our appointment time. So we are empty, just waiting on them to bring us the paperwork. They put a, a lock on the airline, so somebody's gotta come out and take that off, give us our paperwork, and then we are heading back down to New Jersey. My, one of my least favorite places to be, but you know, all in the pursuit of money. Was there? Says short, 26. Oh, well, not our problem. Well, we got our paperwork back. It's about two hours and 45 minutes in, in the door, but realistically, we were early, so not too bad. So uh, it is our problem because they gave us a phone number to call. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Drivers must obtain signature and stamp notating quantities over and short and damage. Well, they marked down a shortage on our paperwork, so we have to call and get that sorted out, I guess. Okay. 
Well, we're gonna get down to a rest area in our favorite state and we'll pick up there. We survived the New Jersey Travel Plaza. This place is a mess, man. Trash everywhere, trucks just completely blocking in all the lanes. So to, to even get into this spot, I had to go to the exit and back up, down the exit and uh, kind of semi alley dock into this spot because people had stacked up behind so much that you couldn't get down the aisle. And then uh, bobtails galore. This guy next to us looks like he has a pull-up bar on his catwalk, that's pretty interesting. And then there's a rider van over here, the guy sleeping in the front seat. That ain't it either. Oof. That must be an uncomfortable night, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, I dislike these rest areas or travel plazas kind of the most because it's always busy. So there's always like local guys here uh, in the morning and like lunchtime, you know, getting food and stuff. And then at night, like people just drop trailers, park their, um, their like day cabs or, or uh, box trucks here and stuff like that and, and leave. So there's not very many actual like parking spots, but we found one and uh, we're about 20 miles away from our next pickup. But that'll be on the next video. Um, yeah. So it's been an adventure. I think this this adventure is over. Thank you for watching, and we will catch you on the next one.